And, uh, can't go to work today. My sack is swollen. <laughs> and I can't get up. <laughs> my God, it's like Look, you're inside bottom. of a basketball. You're getting off. Yeah, I need medical. Uh, you know, I'm just, my knees are just aching yeah, after carrying this fat nut sack all day. <laughs> what? I was even allowed to say Why? Where, where were you? Which one went live first? Oi. I turn on the oh, volume. Fuck people. Stupidity. Take medical Stupid. leave for big bowels. <laughs> <laughs> we're a pre-roll, by the way, but that was so that funny. Awesome. I'm glad that that's there. <laughs> Dude, that's nuts. <laughs> that made me. Ah! <laughs> 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 All right. I love it. Love it. All right, and we are live now. We're almost. Wait, welcome We're to the call. Oh. Welcome to it. It went all the way down to chat. Yeah, it's got it. That's all right. Anybody, it's got anybody it. else in there yet? No, okay. Let's, uh... Where's mm -hmm. the thumbnail? We're, we're pre-rolling it. We're pre-rolling it. Because we gotta get we got to send out the uh, Facebook one, which is the one people actually show up to, so... You know. Is it just YouTube? Like, where is Larry? Um, we're, we're live on YouTube already. Man, what? Facebook time. Let's, uh, this is what we're doing, right? Let's start... Oh, oh, there you are. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was the plan, right? Yeah, exactly. I have nothing. Yeah, I, that's fine. Okay. Thanks for opening it. I hope it's all right. Well, we'll find Ryan, out. Ryan, you having some? No, I got my you got blood period. Test blood test from. Yeah. Oh, good test. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, I threw it out there. I threw the gauntlet down. Ain't nobody's ever seen it. Three on the gauntlet and the balls hole up. <laughs> that's, that's the worst story ever, by the way. I'm terrified now. Well, yeah. I'm glad it didn't happen to me, though. I was going to say, me too, man. It was, uh, that, was, that does not sound pleasant. Right? Yeah, I would have been like, yo, dude, did you microwave them or something? <laughs> yeah, really. Right? Oh, I do have to update my license. What did I walk into? Uh, yeah. It's all about the balls tonight, Josh. Sorry about that. Sorry, man. Uh -huh. it, is, it is all about balls right now. Where did I walk into? Try to pour the balls in the next morning. He's like, yo, dude. Bro. 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 Balls. All right, we are live on Facebook. Okay, so I think we're Wait. just about ready. On Facebook. We're on Facebook. Oh, I nice. Know. I mean, you you surprised? <laughs> I guess I'm surprised that we successfully did it. One uh, inspired. All right, I suppose. All right, let's, let's do this. Make sure we're ready. And three. And two. Wait. Uh, uh, there. There. <laughs> there. There. And one. Oh wait, we got. Hey, BJ. God, been a long time since I've seen him. The bear. Here we go. It's starting. Oh, nice, nice <laughs> retro oh, reference. Keep me in that. suspense. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to BJ. Type in hi to BJ there. Uh, it's not as it'll be as me. That's fine. Oh, uh, actually, up here. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do G2B. Hold on. Go ahead. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one. Yay! Live from the sixth subfloor basement of the Guys Games and Beer Towers. It's the best podcast ever, ever. invented. <laughs> if you discount pretty much all the rest of them. Guys Games and Beer! Yeah. Yeah. Eight years, people. Eight years. Work. Right. Ooh, we are I guess on I'm fire. Not as that. Hi, BJ! Won't make it a year of my ass. Gee. Wow, that was kind of, that is a scary thought, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just keep doing something. Damn right. All right. Well, sooner or later, we're going to be podcast of the year. That's right. I mean, that's right. Never mind yeah, the fact that we generally don't publish on any podcast place anymore. But, but yeah, we well, still might be. Best one on Facebook on Tuesday from Wisconsin. Wait. Wait, I don't want to run into Manitowoc Minute. Uh, that has a guy named Larry on it. Yes. Kicking ass. Hey, Rob. Hey, we got half a Ryan here. Who else we got, got here? We got half a Ryan. Half a Ryan? Half a Ryan. How do we get half a Ryan here? I don't know, 
Stepping on Hopefully it's the bottom half. Oh, oh it's, it is, it's the good half. It's the good nice. half. Nice. Uh, and the controls. I guess we're looking for. Yeah, I know nothing about that, by the way. Ba da ba. Ba da ba ba. Ba da ba 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 you got it? I mean, oh, good, good. Is, oh my god, Hofbrau München, Hofbrau Oktoberst beer, which is, by the way, from Germany. It was imported by uh, one of the largest and most respected uh, importers of German beer, which is uh, Costco. Uh, <laughs> what does it say on the back? It's because it's really It's small. in German. No, uh, the Oktoberfest originated in 1810 in Munich, Germany. As a wedding celebration for the Crown Prince Ludwig of really? Bavaria. I did not know it's that. Ludwig, not Ludwig. Ludwig. I'm, I'm a freaking idiot. This product could be Ludwig. Anyway. Was, cre <laughs> was created especially for this event and is brewed usually for the Oktoberfest, now the largest beer festival in the world. Hofbrau München, HB. Wow, it just it does it says HB after in parentheses. Nice. Is one of a selected group of breweries granted the privileges of supri supplying ah, the Oktoberfest with their products. Using the highest quality ingredients, HP's Oktoberfest specialty has its own distinctive and unique taste, which wow. is German urine. <laughs> you know what I don't which like tastes okay. good, by the way. I'm not you know what I don't like any, depends on the German. Words. You 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 get uh, um, shorted that point eight ounces. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's not a solid twelve ounce beer. It's an eleven point two. This is a German beer, All right. and it only takes eleven point two ounces to get there. <laughs> okay, that's pretty solid actually. Well, not surprising. Time. Well, that the Germans and Hofbrau. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, big that could be beer. Yeah, it's really malty. Not surprising considering it's the Germans. Yeah, and they know their beer. That's pretty damn good, actually, Rob. I mean, for an Oktoberfest. Okay, so oh, I know you bitch about no, Oktoberfest. No, no, uh, yeah, this is a real Oktoberfest. But here's the other thing: this isn't no fucking pumpkin flavors. It's an autumn beer that tastes like a damned autumn beer. There's no damn. Pumpkin in it. There's no allspice in it. There's no crap in it. Get it off like my porch! Get off my goddamn lawn! I don't like that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, people are stupid. Look, all you have to do is look around. People are really dumb. Well, are you, you, are know, you talking about this room? It's a little. It's a little hard. Yeah, it's a good beer, and so the expectation was high, and it was met. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. I, I Agreed. No, that that's actually that, that is a good way to put it. The expectation was high and met. Yeah. I, I don't know what else to say about it. No, I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that. I, you know, I can't say that I've ever had an Oktoberfest beer that I've liked better than this. Um, I'm going to agree. It's one of the better Oktoberfests yeah. I've had. I, I, mean, I well, who was it? Usually, you know. No, what? I'm trying to think of. There, there was one that came out last year that I really liked. Uh, it had this the classic blue and white check label on it, but it was really good. I can't remember who made it out. Well, a lot of them had that. I remember Pabst yeah. had one last year. Yeah, but it wasn't Pabst. I think Pabst was actually pretty good. The white one? Is that the lakefront? But, I think it was the lakefront. Oh, uh, yeah. That yeah. I liked. Well, they are pretty good. They did a really good Oktoberfest last but, year. I mean, this is delicious. This, is, this is really good. So, I mean, basically, this is the one you get. Try, and then judge all the others on. Yes. Like, how yeah. close is it to this? Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah, no, that's probably realistic. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's the German, it's, it's German engine. This is what they're talking about. You, you, this is German it's engineering. It's not Farfanugan. Yeah. <laughs> it's not these, it's not Volkswagen's bullshit where you can't do anything with it. It's good. Wait a minute, what was that? You don't publicize because you're keeping it underground. Keeping it underground makes people search for... <laughs> yes, that's absolutely true. You are right, BJ, we do. Mm -hmm. And MySpace really doesn't let us stream anymore. Yeah, I, I mean, we, <laughs> you know, our biggest venue is MySpace, and yeah. we've been having problems streaming there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's true. We just so, our own server, our own G2V. 
space. We absolutely can do that. <laughs> we can. No, just we have the website on our own side. And plenty yeah. of bandwidth just laying around. <laughs> All right, Rob, yeah. why don't you go ahead and pass <laughs> Okay, the first thing I want to mention is well. that I, I have this idea. It is free. Whichever brewer comes up with it first, you really, you really need to cross license with the Adams family, and you can make Oktoberfester. I'm just saying. Uh, you, uh, you, I'm giving that to you free. Yeah. Yes. I mean, All right. I admit like it's a groaner, but it's great. One of those guys, you know that. Would do that kind of thing. Imagine, imagine the yeah. nice bald head on there. I'm not yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah. I think but, it's a genius idea. But That's a I, I think they charge idea. too much. So mm -hmm. the licensing for Adam well, we Adam. tried to. So you know, but uh, uh, so we got to put it through its paces. I, I think this yeah. will go fairly quickly. Um, so well, anybody gonna order this at the bar? Oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially come October. I would order this as an October 5th beer. You know, you're out drinking with your butts. I don't For know, October July. July. Yeah. Is, is, is anybody grabbing it out of party cooler? Coming out of that party cooler. Oh, yeah. And your only beer of the day. Oh. Lots of choices. No. Is this your only beer no. of the day? No. No. Wait, what's this? Uh, what's this, What percentage alcohol is this? Six. Nine. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that. Well... Ah, uh, wait. I mean, is wait. Is it wait? Is it eleven fifty nine p.m.? We can have another one in like four minutes. Yeah, because totally then. Yeah. If it was my okay. last beer of the night, I'd no, be it's in 5 on it. Five p.m. Just got off of work. Could have the one beer of the day. I'd have. I'd be. I'd, mm, no. I'd have to nurse that stuff. Well, no. Okay. You know what? Yeah. This this question cool. is really invalid good. because it really for me is just a ra a raw alcohol content number. Mm. It has nothing to do with the taste of the beer. I like need a, if I, I need a stout that's like a fourteen. Yeah, I mean <laughs> dragon's right. milk. Dragon's milk. All right, so if it was against other six point five, sure. Oh, okay. All right. But yeah. that's not fair. That I mean that's like comparing like I got a one mile stretch of road to race. <laughs> would you would you like this BMW or the Stragster? Well, yeah, I'm gonna take the the Dragster yeah, for that race, car but I'm gonna have to turn here. sooner or later. <laughs> all right, all anyway. right, Judge Rob, pass verdict. Oh, wait, well, we're wait. gonna do this. Yeah, wait. Do this. all right. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, pretty, I'm gonna probably say it's pretty decent. It's really? Decent October fashion. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to yeah. declare you the queen of Oktoberfest. Anyway. Judge Rob, pass for it again. On the charge of war crimes. Yep. <laughs> Find you guilty. We're just going to let that one pass right now. Okay? Yes, we we're are. Just gonna, yes, we are. You know, we I, are I, I said it fast on purpose, and I let it go. Fast and quiet. Yep. Fast probably good call quiet on, on that one. Uh, good call on both of those, Rob. But it is delicious. <laughs> it is delicious. Mm. Oh, God. No, forget, I can't say any of the stuff I'd say up here right now. The Germans? <laughs> yes, I... So is anybody else Everybody in loves them. It's very inclusive. <laughs> very <laughs> inclusive. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Rob! <laughs> talking about German engineering... <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with German engineering? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about tonight, Rob? Today's topic is... Wait, nobody want, they don't want, you don't want to let anybody else uh, talk about what they're drinking or anything else? Like, Sorry, no, I thought they really no, wanted to talk. Go. Okay. I'm no, gonna we're going to talk about it. We're gonna, uh, no, no, we can go ahead through the list and ask people what they're drinking. Yeah, yeah let's go through it. Wait, we can do it, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's no. against that, right? Travis, what are you drinking? Okay. I, I pass. Good what? call, Travis. A pass? That's I don't amazing. have anything. Mm-hmm. Hold on just a You're second. Usually this more exotic than that. He is usually more exotic than that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see who's next on the list. Uh, Josh, what are you drinking? Much like you folks, I decided to go with an Oktoberfest beer, but I'm doing Wisconsin Proud, New Glarus Staghorn. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is Wisconsin Proud. Good That's call good on name. that. If to, so, for those of you who haven't had it yet, and you can't because unless you live in Wisconsin, because uh, New Glarus Brewing only sells in Wisconsin so far, uh, they make a an Octo a fall beer. I won't say I won't call it an Oktoberfest, 
But a, a fall beer called Staghorn that is exceptional. I think they call it October. Is, it, is that they, the one that you were talking I about? I wouldn't call that an Oktoberfest. What's is that? that the one you were talking about earlier? No, 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 no. It's, this, 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 it's this, pretty this. malty, but I'm good with that. I like malty beers. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. Hey, Ryan, you just scrolled down. All right, uh, uh, Dallas, what you drinking? Right one. Oh, yeah, well, yes. I am drinking a nice little uh, glass Oscars of a uh, Jaeger, uh, which I like to call a combination of Jaeger Ooh. and Orange Fago. Ooh, um, I'm Wait, not what? so sure. Sounds what the? Awful. I am what lying. The I'm drinking fuck? that on purpose. I am completely like lying. Uh, and I don't apologize. I am drinking a milk stout nitro from Left Hand. Ooh, go. good Ooh. call. Good. I was going to say, besides, we've all learned Sweet. on this show that uh, the better version of Jaeger is Kilo Pitch anyway. Thank you. It certainly is. Well, it's like the great. Means now let's say that Jaeger is good in any way, shape, or form, and I'm not going to concede what that kill at bitch all. Kill a bitch is. Kill a bitch. It's bad, okay? Kill a bitch. That's like, uh, it's actually, it's actually pretty, pretty good. good. I'll be pretty, probably be through kill a bitch, so yeah. Yeah, no, I don't like Jaegermeister at all. I don't play Jaeger, that. Yeah, yeah, Jaeger. Right. Jaggermeister. Okay. Jaggermeister. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, right, I call it um, Jaggermeister because Jags drink it. Let's see. Uh, anyway. Tyler, what are you drinking? It's been a long day, uh, so I'm just drinking the straight brandy. Oh, oh, good call there. Hey, uh, by the way, we are pre- we started pre-gaming with this, so. Bullet. So, so do you think the brandy really good. loses something it is without good. the giant stogie? Oh, it is good. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I couldn't bar barrel I miss with it, but... Agreed. Yeah, but uh, not so. Hey, this is, I was yeah, never usually into cigars. With a big cigar and a leather That's why that cigar has been <laughs> sitting there for about four years now. All right, it, oh, it can't have been, but now. it's been sitting there for three. Yeah, eight cigars are the best. Are they? Especially when they haven't been in a humidor. Or <laughs> so, so you're saying I should smoke it? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll be delicious. I'll totally follow that. I'm in. Try to light your house on fire too. That kind of thing. It's like. <laughs> One puppet is like, All right, who's next? All right, uh, that's everybody. Everybody. Oh. That's everybody. That's everybody's doing channel tonight. Okay, so, Rob, what are we actually going to talk about tonight? <laughs> you know i got to hit a button every time you guys do this. I right? know. That's why I'm making you do this. I'm going to have to hit the okay, button. Okay, so it's the uh, the Federation versus the board. Yes. Pretty much so. That, is, yeah. that pretty well sums it up. Well, yeah. indeed it is. Xbox. What? God Bless him. Well, that'll be my thing. But anyway, Xbox freaking X series uh, versus PS5. Okay, so who was it? I, I think, Dallas, you posted a naming uh, chart for between uh, PlayStation and Microsoft. Yeah, so... Um, that was fucking hilarious. Was, yeah, this is going to be crazy. At first, I, I, this, I was kind of lackadaisical about this topic. You know, I'm like, yeah, another console release, yada, yada. And then the news I dropped yesterday was just like... I'm still, uh, like, uh, you know, wow. Like, I just got blindsided. I did not expect it's that. It's huge. It's I huge. Well, this is going to change yeah. how the next generation is going to perform completely. <laughs> now, I know who's going to fucking win. That's... I will tell you. All right, well, wait, wait, wait. Till we get to you. Wait till we get to you. Don't tell us no, yet. I'm not going to pull my load just yet, but uh, just... I have a lot more to say. Than now, I wait a much. bit. All right, well, let's start. Okay. I just want to say that... I think that the Bethesda Microsoft thing is a very good deal because you it got like deal. one of the most fucked up broken engines going on the most fucked up broken netcode. <laughs> I think that that's a great thing. No. All right, all right, all right. We'll get we'll get to that in a bit. All right, okay. Travis, you're first. Travis. Yeah, so basically, I mean, that, that whole announcement, and, and, and like, the announcement itself was big, but like... Alright, Travis, 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 tell people what the announcement was. Yeah. Oh, uh, so basically, obviously, the, the big news that I'm sure most people have heard by now is that, you know, Microsoft scooped up uh, all of ZeniMax properties, so uh, you got Bethesda, id Software, and a bunch of other companies under that umbrella, Yeah. Um, which just leads to a ton of opportunities for Xbox... Mm-hmm. And we don't know what the details of this is going to look like yet, but, I mean, I, most likely it's going to be t- lots of timed exclusives from these companies for the ac- newest Xbox. So, like, that, that's, a, that, that's a big thing, because, I mean, 
a lot of the criticism from Microsoft was they didn't have the games like Sony did. So like Sony has all these really great first party titles and first party franchises that they treat well. Um, so hopefully this is you know Microsoft signal, hey like we're we're in the game again. Like uh, it's it's going to be pretty interesting to see um, from the announcements like the. The current schedule or lineup of games hasn't changed, but I mean, now that Microsoft, you know, has the Elder Scrolls in its pocket, it's got Doom in its pocket, <laughs> um, and it has a lot of great studios with good talent. It's going to be interesting. Um, one, I, John, um, so John Carmack hasn't really worked uh, a while on games for its software. Uh, they, he had a little spat with with Zenimax specifically because. They were a god awful company, uh, holding it's company. Uh, they're not very peaceful. I mean, I, I wouldn't say Microsoft's like a fucking snake either, but like, um, Zenimax, it's not Zen, 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 but um, yeah. it's cool. It's cool seeing these old developers like John Carmack potentially excited to work with some of their IPs again. You know, um, it's kind of funny. Like, I, I really kind of miss the Xbox original, <laughs> and I got into 360. But what I was discovering, and it kind of was true with the original, is like it. It felt like a, a like there was a lot dirtier titles. You know what I mean? Like uh, they were, you know, uh, ones that were maybe a little bloodier and a little more risque and a little more, you know. And a lot of the other systems were. And this, the 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 stuff that you're talking about, like Doom and stuff, kind of. Seems to pull back because that that was what that went, idea, that's yeah. what pulled me to the 360 was like oh man it's like this is the yeah more like mature adult. Yeah, like adult games yeah <laughs> I'm I'm a little concerned that a lot of the uh, a, a lot of the properties that they bought have kind of tarnished themselves lately with not stellar releases and there's a few things if Xbox wants to survive the next generation. And everybody on Xbox Live is bitching about it. It's their net code. I'm sorry. They got to fix it. Online gaming is the now. And when you're constantly having problems with your, with your ability to connect to others in gameplay and having problems with the matches, it's ridiculous. Wait, I hate other people. I love it. Oh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's That probably, code will never be used by Nintendo me. Nintendo is your company. I think Nintendo is going to win the next one. No, <laughs> 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 We laugh, you know, back, most of us remember Super Nintendo's dominance of the market, but, you know. But anyway, I, I, I'm a little worried, like I said, I saw how they totally blew it with Halo. They screwed the pooch completely. Yeah, I, 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 Microsoft, Microsoft has had some really good IPs in its hand, like from other companies yeah. as well. And, like, and, they, and they, they've kind of squandered, like, a massive amount of resources to be in this game market. So, like... Really, really hoping they are, they learn their lesson. And I, I, I do have to say, one of the most, uh, I know that I'm, from I the information I have today, I, I'm leaning towards the Xbox side of things, just because, like, I mean, the games for PS5 so far, I mean, I, I'm sure there's going to be, there's going to be, but I don't have the information for that now, so. Right. Um, but I'm, I'm excited about that, the Game Pass model, which I, I think is a very strong feat for, for Microsoft, you know, rather than, you know, buying your traditional $60 AAA game. You know that basically you pay that continual subscription service, so it doesn't hurt people's wallets as much. Um, I think that's it. I think that's a it's a great it's a great model for gamers uh, to get content and have access to a pretty large library of games. How much are they charging for that now? Uh, I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. But I, I know up games. until this month it was four ninety nine a month. They raised it to nine ninety nine a month. Ooh, that's a big the jump. Four. The announcement was made. Yeah, of course. I don't know. Oh, uh, I see. Is it? But since we're on that subject, it's still going to remain one of the best deals in gaming. Now that that's still not bad. They they have Zenimax folded in with them. Yeah. A lot of release titles are going to come to PC Can on Skinamax, Xbox, <laughs> or yeah. Yeah. Or uh, the Game Pass, which means that if you have a PC or an Xbox, you're in good shape. Yeah, like having, having the ability to have have it on both is really I'm excited really on the PC side. I, I guess my point right now is I'm I'm really, especially with crossplay coming along, 
The Xbox doesn't yeah. give me, the current gen at least, does not give me a whole lot of reason to be on Xbox. If my family wasn't on there, if I didn't drag them all into the Xbox <laughs> world with me when I when I switched from PS4, they wouldn't be there. And there'd be no reason for me to be on Xbox anymore. I have a PC, you know? What the, what the hell do I need them for? Whereas the PlayStation actually has different titles that I don't have. So... Plus the net code isn't. I think that shit. was a that was a, that is a traditional problem with the Xbox. I've been drinking. Is that PC games were a, a lot of their a lot of their crossovers were they weren't on other consoles, but they were on PC. So if you had a gaming laptop or a gaming PC, you 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 you, you wouldn't see the big advantage of having that console. Yeah, I'm kind of blowing my load on what my my thing is, but I I switched from. PS4 to Xbox One, and I felt like I made a huge mistake. Well, we'll get to uh, we'll get, we'll get uh, done. Uh, hold, hold, hold. Well, I mean, I'm, all right, well, are we like, I pretty much blown uh, that load. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're I'm, pretty much dead. Pretty much done. You're yeah. Done. All right, so uh, let's see. More uh, whiskey. Yeah, good idea. That's a good whiskey. idea, Tom. <laughs> I'm thinking so. Yes, that is definitely a good idea. All right, all right. So uh, let's see. Uh, who's still? Let's see who's on in voice still. Well, oh, I like that pickup. That's good for Microsoft. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Why am I not? Well, so mostly hard. that's a. If you got your columns down, to you, that is a. Well, what if you don't have a gaming PC? SP. What if you don't have a gaming PC? I right. Mean, so that's a all check. of a sudden, the Xbox is going to be. Yeah. yeah. That's a big it's definitely deal. Definitely a check over on the old Borg side it's of things. Deem. Okay, so yeah. uh, looks like uh, we've got a few new people who have dropped into our live thing. Uh, I bet Mike actually dropped in, and it looks like Mel dropped in. Um, all right, guys. All right. Hey. Hey. All right, Mel, PS, uh, PS5 or the new Xbox? Mel's dead. Evidently. Mel's dead. <laughs> yeah, read all the mode. Okay, she, she just, shot. evidently she did not plan on being in the channel. Oh. Cause she just, <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, 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 I'm in the wrong channel. Wait, 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 is this where we play like, Killing Floor? Yeah, is this <laughs> Killing Floor channel? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's jump on to my... Uh, is Killing Floor ever going to come well, on Xbox? Why didn't they buy that IP? She's adding video. She, I don't know. That, that, that is an interesting one. Two sheep. All right, well, let's jump to... Why don't they buy them? Mike. Yes. Then I'd be in, by the way. What that you getting? Uh, well, to be honest, perfectly honest with you, I'm probably... Oh. Yes, Mel? <laughs> what happened to Mike? Uh, but anyways, to be perfectly honest with you, probably at this moment, neither of them, because what I've figured out with the consoles lately is that they have a few technical problems in the beginning that they need to work out first. And, like, uh, I was, like, one of the first people to, one of the, that you guys probably know, I actually bought the PS4, like, when it first came out. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Well, what they didn't tell you was that they had a lot of disc errors to it because of the, pretty much the rubber points touching the ground and getting close and everything like that. And also, it just, like, made you pop out disc and you try to put it back in and pop out and then you just get an error code. And so you it had just that happen? beeping out of control for no reason. <laughs> but that's not a problem with the so digital clearly Mike only actually version. had that. <laughs> First patches are yeah. Clear you say it's you know the digital only version. Yeah, sure. But like, if you ask me, like it's just good to wait on consoles, just like how it is with like. Say the first coming cars because they got to work out the kinks first. I could not agree more. They made the PS Pro, the PS Pro, and then they came out with the one terabyte hard drive one, which was the better PS4 in my eyes. And I'm just sitting here, just like, well, I got this that beeps at me every five minutes constantly. (laughs) While I'm playing a game, and it's just like, you know, I understand totally what you mean. I mean, I I bought the the Xbox. One like you know almost day it came out, which is pretty new for me, and uh, and then they came yeah. out with the asteroid. It's like, hey, these all these things are pretty cool. Can can I do it with mine? No. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the thing too. Wait, so, uh, when I went that? to E3 when they released their like Xbox server thing, I was just like, "Oh, cool! What kind of Xbox do you like? Do you need to have a certain Xbox for the server thing?" And they're like, "You need at least an S." And I was just like, "Well, fuck me! Yeah, I thank only you. have yeah, I'm, I only have the original know, one that I bought from that <laughs> early USB money con. I sent you." Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey man, at least you didn't wait three months to play Up and Halo you know, <laughs> after yeah, you bought right, it. Yeah. And I mean after you bought it. Yeah, yeah. well I just wanted it too because I was like, ah, oh, why not? I've never owned an Xbox before. This is my first Xbox. Terrible choice in Xbox, but hey, whatever. <laughs> we all accept our fates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like... I, I kind of feel like they nailed the 360 and... and yeah. Uh, you know, that go like, for the one. Yeah, yeah. but the one. See, that I, what I'm gonna do is backwards. I'm gonna take like a Ken or like some kind of like head or something like that and give it like an '80s like hairstyle and put it right on the top where the V, so it looks like a V neck. <laughs> 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 oh God! Hey, remember when? Uh, remember when they had the Cortana thing where it would keep activating accidentally? Fudge, oh, yes. Keep, hey, are you asking for me? No. In the middle of a no! fucking game, would you play? I was not asking for Right in you. the middle, Call of Duty. You're like staring at somebody. How can I help you? What the hell? <laughs> well, it's kind of like that one guy who, with the Kinect back with the Xbox One days too, when the new Call of Duty came out, he was a jerk and put his name as Xbox Sign yeah. Out, you know, and yeah. people were yelling at their, <laughs> their screens because he was being a troll. No. That <laughs> brilliant. I'm sorry. That's you brilliant, though. Something like that? <laughs> that was just oh, me oh, learning. Don't get me wrong. It was brilliant. It was <laughs> hilariously <laughs> brilliant. Flippy <laughs> came back. But anyways, to answer the real question, if it was going to be the Xbox or PS5, uh, I'd probably go lean towards... Oh man, that's hard. Uh, probably, probably the PS5 because the exclusives. Because what's going to happen with the Xbox is that most of the games are come out on PC anyways, or they're going to come out later anyways on there too. And you can also just buy it on PC, also. Right. You get if you've got right, you if you've got a it. PC, right. Yeah. Hmm. Unless you got the subscription service for sixteen bucks, some um, sixteen ninety nine a month, right? There you go. But you get a lot with that. I'm not gonna lie. Or... The sixteen ninety nine a month, you get a lot of games for free download. Yeah. See, to, to me, that's a lot of. That's a lot of money for content. Okay, uh, let's jump I, back. I think Apple's is what, it's five bucks a month, but you get like one-tenth of content that you play. I know. Well, but you can play it on you your know iPad and your that. Apple I, mean, I, since I went to E3, they so. gave me the pass for a year for free. The whole enchilada. And I just download, I downloaded like five games already off of them. And I'm playing Wasteland 3 as we, like... You know, yeah, but those those lately. will only stay active while your account is... is Correct! Is is active. Standing. Right. So if you stop paying, then it just goes you away. You those games. Right. Well, here's you the problem I mean, with this, too. What they don't tell you, too. You didn't read it in the fine print. Is that if you don't cancel it, it's just going to continue. Right! <laughs> right! All right. Let's, the let's... issue, too, with most modern gaming... It... Most people don't buy physical media for the games now. What happens no. if it started to go down? Things like that, like... You're kind of fucked anyway. Well, well the question yes, too with that, with the where more people going digital too, is what's going to happen to the, like the companies like Blu-ray or making the 4Ks and everything like that? Are they going to go out of business just like DVD did? Yeah, well, back up your games. All right, yeah, back up your games. All right, uh, let's try. Yeah, to, let's try to <laughs> jump is, back one more time. Do, yeah. I see Mel is muted. Mel, do you have a, a preference which way you're going? All right, I'm going to take that as a no. All right, let's jump on down <laughs> to Josh. Josh, which way are you going? So I'm going to preface this, even though I have lots of opinions, by saying I really don't have a dog in this fight because I'm not a console gamer. Uh, I think they're silly. Uh, I don't, that don't, feel bad. don't feel bad. <laughs> that being said, I do have opinions. So the first thing I will say, if nothing else... The hardware difference between the two are meaningless. It's absolutely meaningless. If hey, hold on a minute. We're in technical difficulty. No, go, let him go, let him go. Keep going, keep going. You done? Yeah, I'm done. You're your friend, Pav. If okay. your friends all buy PS5s, you should buy PS5. If your friends all yeah. buy Xbox 2K469 
whatever the hell this next one's called, <laughs> then you should get that. Okay? Well, that's why we're having this discussion. What's that? That's why we're having this discussion. Find out which one of our friends are buying which. <laughs> yeah, right. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> so, then if we dig down into, you know, more into the ecosystems and everything themselves, Get the Xbox has a terrible naming convention. <laughs> it's awful. What the fuck are you doing? Like, it's horribly confusing trying to figure out which one's what, which one's the digital, which one's the physical. Parents who think everything is Nintendo are going to get confused and buy people the wrong things this holiday. <laughs> All right? To be fair, they'll do that anyway. Yeah. Maybe, but it's a lot easier to say, oh, PS5, that's the highest number. I should get that. Yeah, I... There, I think there's going to be a lot of consumer dissatisfaction that's, because of that's, different models. I agree. I agree. I agree. So the plus, the last plus generation one is also called the X. Yeah, is there an X? Yeah, on exactly. Yeah, they they should. X. They should have. Yeah, you know, and they they've been doing this since the original Xbox. What what well, was they, the second Xbox? Clever. Or the 360. All the Already, we're all over the place. They were all well, the uh, stuff was equaling one. That like 360. That being said, yeah, though, you know, I. If I had to pick a dog in the fight, it would be the Xbox, specifically because with an Xbox plus, you know, Microsoft having the Windows platform and having the Xbox Game Pass with that purchase of ZeniMax, it, the, Sony should be afraid. Uh, to be, be very blunt about it, Sony should be very afraid. Preach. Uh, I'm right. <coughs> Like, yeah, I agree with that one. But, like, at the I, same I time... Admit, like, yeah. so, it, it's been interesting this last generation, the Xbox One and PS4, like... And then the whole, like, timed exclusive thing has been kind of the big... The big thing where it's like, okay, yeah, you know, I get some content for Destiny on PS4, and then, you know, like, a fucking year down the line, it finally comes on Xbox. I am wondering if, you know, this acquisition of ZeniMax, they're going to be exclusive exclusives, you know, like... Xbox has had none of that this last generation, so it'll be interesting to see. The, so, the only ones they really had were kind of like the Gear series, but that was still coming out on PC either way. Gears and well, Halo. and that, that's the thing. Like PC. They can make all sorts of things that are like, oh, you can play on PC or Xbox, right? If you don't want to play on one and you want to go play on the other, we'll make it all cross-save compatible, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you don't want to play with PC players. That way... Um, and I think they are going to go heavy with the exclusives because otherwise a seven point six billion dollar deal doesn't have a lot <laughs> as, as many teeth. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would absolutely love to see. Again, I, I know that initially, like, and, and Microsoft's been pretty cross-platform friendly, and I know they've been pushing the Windows and PC. But it was like, I love the idea of being able to pick up a game on a console and sit on a couch and play it, and then go to P play it on a PC if I want to sit on a PC and play it. Like that is an absolutely appealing. Like prospects, like have, not you know not having to worry about like oh I'm trying to play with these friends or these friends, but being able to have both experiences, you know, a console Honestly. and a PC. Experience. Yeah, I mean that's one of the draws of the Switch, right? Like mm -hmm. you can play it on your big TV, and then you can just pick it up and go over to a buddy's house and keep playing it, and it's a seamless integration. So it's on the same up device. Up the Windows. I think it's going to be huge. Except, and virtually killed off their handhold. Yes. <laughs> except, except you're playing on the same device, and the people who are playing docked right. do not kick your ass because they have far superior hardware to be playing on. Thank you, exactly. Uh, I just, I, I'm sorry, but I played Modern Warfare against PC people. I'm a PC person. I would rather be playing with my PC, to be honest. I, oh, sure. There is no competition. That is a... Freaking wipeout every time. Occasionally, you'll win a game against a team that's on PC, but it, it uh, yeah. crossplay is a well, disaster for first person right. shooters. You the option when you're creating a game or joining a server to opt out of PC players on the Xbox. Yeah, that didn't work actually for the first fucking uh, six months. So yeah, it didn't. Yeah, so you got massacred. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I got, they got you got massacred. Like, every time you're playing against PCs, you all of a sudden see PCs, and it's like, oh, I'm going to lose. Yeah. Why aren't I on my PC? Is it, but why Why would you want to be playing on a console and go, oh, I'd rather be playing on a PC? I mean, Jesus shit, most of us have laptops. You can set it on your, <laughs> on your lap anyway. 
Yes, I will burn yeah, my, my legs off. Yeah, my basically a potato, though. <laughs> except, yeah, except I'll burn my legs um, off, but so is your Xbox. I mean, just plug it in the TV and use your remote. You yeah. use an Xbox 360 uh, controller. Or my my PC's in my office, and my Switch and my whatever will be out in the living room on my nice, comfy couch. You know, I mean, I, I do definitely get the point you're making. I yeah, probably why buy a separate play. piece of hardware, though, and get your ass kicked when you can actually use... The... Well, that's assuming you're in a place something like Modern Warfare, though, is what I'm yeah. saying. Like, if you're playing yeah, if RPG, you're playing Modern Warfare, I don't see any reason why you'd ever want to yeah, play I mean, on Xbox. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you get focused on, on those type or games. Or PS4. But, but if you want to play, like, a cart game... Yeah, that's great. You no know problem. What I mean, There's no big advantage. No. No, no that's cool. Well, <clears> top down shoot, if you want to play top-down shooters, like Dual Stick, fine. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Or team-based uh, team yeah, games. Uh, like Killing Floor, like yeah, Killing Floor. <laughs> yes, Killing Floor would be great on the Xbox because you can play against every, with everybody. I just don't get what their obsession is with competitive first player shooter. Uh, all right, well, you, FPS you is saw, with it. I'm gonna, saw, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this back in and school. continue on. All right. All right. So we just finished with Josh. I lost Travis, my shit on this. Tra you did actually. Travis already start went first. So uh, let's go with Ryan. Oh, uh, so my thought is I'm gonna go with the whole. PS5 still has, will probably still have better first-person titles that they've continued with. Yeah. Um, the fact that Xbox did acquire a bunch of games, like, I agree with everyone else. They're all going to end up on PC. If I really want to, I, I tend to be more of a single-player game person. Yeah, I don't want to so, talk so to you anyways. I, so if I'm going <laughs> to play something that's going to be on either or, I'll just go over to my PC and buy it. If the, if the whole idea is physical media is kind of falling to the wayside for certain games... You know, I wait until they go on sale and I'll buy a digital copy. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to rush out to pay 60 bucks for a digital copy of something. So when I buy my PS5, they're still going to be. So, so you're not rushing out for the new Call of Duty, huh? No. No, no I think yeah, that was that, never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I realize the first year is going to be a little tougher because there will be a, a few games I'll have to probably buy at a normal price. But after that first year is going to be, you know, I, I go back to my cheapness of when they hit 30 bucks or 20 I'll buy those games, so I I have them. I know they're in my library forever. Put them on the shelf, play them when I get a chance to. So, the, yeah. but the Xbox to me just seems like it it feels like it's going to be just mainly a PC in a way, yeah. especially with acquiring the Zenimax, which had most of the games on the PC too, right? So, I and yeah. I'm okay with playing some of those games like that on PC. So. Lair. So. You were done, right? I sure. I mean, yeah. so you're, you're trailing off. Oh, you have more to say. Done now. You were looking at your shoes. Yeah, uh, I kind of figured you were trailing off. I thought you were done. Yeah, with I think I'm. You done with that? I mean, you can definitely go more. I was in it. No, I just yeah. <laughs> Xbox hadn't impressed me much this this like this last go? generation or or what they're coming out with now. So. I think the problem is when you played both because you you have both, right? Yeah, I have both. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's you know, if I was stuck with one or the other, mm -hmm. I mean, I'd, I'd probably have to look at the games again and see, but I had a lot of enjoyment over the last eight years, or however many years, with the PlayStation 4, yeah. and all the single titles. I mean, because you can log in most of the time, right? I mean, <laughs> no. uh, that's, a, that's a plus. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Larry, how about you? So, um, uh, aesthetically, I prefer the Borg look. <laughs> yeah. Instead of that, that ugly, sleek look. I don't even know what they were thinking with that. I mean, they're both the ugly as shit. Yeah. One looks like a square Alexa, one yeah. looks like a rubber. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, if I had to choose that between uh, 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 the, the old uh, black the box chat. or, or the, the pretty router, I guess I'd go with the black box. Right, yeah. But, um, my wow, thought is... Um, I didn't buy a PlayStation 4 as backward compatible as <laughs> 5 is. So I like my thought is, of those games. I would uh, skip a generation, and uh, so I would probably lean towards the PlayStation 5. Plus, um, I like that, uh, and I don't know, I don't know that it not to be true, and you guys can help me out on this, but uh, PlayStation makes a point of it. Um, I like that they got a VR as as part of their uh, options on their systems, and they'll continue that support with five. So um, I like my Oculus, but it'd be nice to maybe have another 
uh, another device. Well, like you just that. you just fell face first into that whole thing, didn't you? Yeah. It was yeah. first. You'll get my 8-bit when you pry it my cold dead fingers, and then it's like, ah, VR, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I do want to add that. Don't, 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 don't mess with the microchip test. It's really fucking nice, okay? Hey, I just bought my, like, what, third? I don't know. <laughs> so, stop breaking that. Uh, I do want to yeah. add one thing to Larry's comment did about the yeah, people who did skip been. the PS4, and they go with their yeah, package, the online package. They get, like, 20 games out of the gate that were fantastic on the PS4 that you would have the ability to play right away on PS5. I know that's not the purpose of the next generation gaming, but... but yeah, that, but it's, that's it's, it's, it's games you haven't been, you haven't been playing. playing. Yeah. You know, and then, no and then you, you can go. play no go some new uh, five games. And I think some of that, you're Fuck. waiting for that next generation. Somebody and cost those, those Tom models to pop Fuck up. Fuck no, let me drink more! Because that first year, there's not a lot, huge amount of titles that normally pop up right away. Right, that are awesome. right. You know, I, I think know, that reminds me we should have some more whiskey, huh? I, I know the idea. Xbox X is back yeah, on Panama like also. Um, That's but, my understanding. But I, I did buy the Xbox One, so um, I kind of had that gen. So it, it's not really like an added benefit for me, right? So I think having skipped the generation, I, I think the 5 is real enticing. So, and wow, you, and you have that, uh, that Oculus, which you're gonna get the gaming PC to go with it so you can play on the PC, right? So, yeah, well, that's so you'll true. probably have access to all the, the games and Xbox. I swore I yeah. saw Series uh, X will come out with so. I mean, I do, I, you know, oh, see, the other thing is, I wasn't really clear on as I was doing some reviews, on um, it seemed like with the <laughs> controls, uh, the PlayStation was doing some unique things that were. It had a couple different settings as far as force feedback goes, and I didn't see any of that. Oh, it had that. With, that yeah, you would the six hear, axis yeah. that they call yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. Six and axis. and yes. so I didn't really see that Xbox was doing all that. They had this nifty button so you can instantly like I don't know stream your super effective gameplay, but I, I don't see that as to be going to be a very useful button for me. Are, are they jumped to half there? You should be streaming all the time. Man. <laughs> to be fair. And it pretty much is the Xbox controller the same controller? Too? Yeah, with an extra button. They slapped another button Ooh. on it. No. Yeah, it's the stream button. I don't really button. have a problem with oh, the new stream, stream button. button. Oh, yeah. Bring back the bread loaf. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really have any complaints with the, this current generation after they fixed the creakiness. No, I mean, I oh, yeah. think I think yeah. the controller's fine, but it seemed like uh, the PlayStation added some elements mm -hmm. that might be, especially because if you put that with the VR, you might really get uh, some added immersion, which the Xbox just isn't offering, so that I can tell. I have a comment I was going to make about the uh, PS5 controller, but I'm not going to make it. I, mean, you can. I might after the next drink. But yeah. I'm gonna hold that one back. <laughs> Want to talk about how uh, right. some advantages down under? Uh -huh. Let's uh, let's jump to Ben because Ben stuck in us. <laughs> hey Ben, way to sneak in. Ben. Uh, hey, hey, uh, like a creepy little goblin, I will sneak in. Whipping it in. He did slip yes. it in. Yep, going back to my old ways. All right, so what uh, what are you what's this me thinking? Uh, I haven't bought a console in a minute. I don't. Honestly, I don't see the point of getting a buying a dedicated machine. I'm going to for agree. For just gaming, I'm going to agree with you on this one. Or yeah, streaming. You only have like 15. We've got it. We're in a yes, we're in the day and age of you have smart TVs if you want to stream. Uh, no. I know it's going to sound PC master race, -y, but like I am PC master race. Thank you. That's... But I can see like we had to wait uh, forever to get Halo, I'll tell, which I'll... sucks. It's here but now. Think, you know, and part of it is is the is um, price point. So to get, um, you know, I'm I'm researching laptops pretty pretty heavily right now for one to go with my Oculus, and you know, and basically to get what I really think I probably need, it's a thousand dollars, and a thousand dollars is quite a different price point than four hundred. And so, as far as which like, Xbox is four hundred, which PlayStation? Yeah, are, aren't they like? Digital, they might be five hundred. It's still half. Digital is four hundred. It's still half for the Xbox, but they also crippled the processor and crap. Let's say it's yeah, five hundred. It's still half. All right. 
Yeah. It's still half of that thousand. But your, game, yeah. but your games are like five bucks a piece on the PC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I understand yeah, that. But that's well, a... you had 500 hours of worth of purchasing power for games. You know? Yeah, so, but, but Larry, do you, do you need that laptop? That's a lot of games. Like, Remember, you, you gotta buy the game for 70 bucks like a you're... piece. Maybe. So you buy four games and now Maybe. you got a PC. Unless, unless you're spending 16 bucks a month. You know, That's not bad, actually. You know, so for that I don't uh, like subscription-based gaming. Yeah, I don't. I, I, mean, know, I do but, some of it, but I don't well, like all you're saying is yeah. they spend two hundred dollars a year and they have all these games, you know, and and you know it take me two years, through oh, two and a half years to get to that thousand-dollar price point to buy those five-dollar games. Here's the problem: you lose your so, job, right? And you got to cut back now. All your games are gone. You have nothing mm. except drinking left. No, I see nothing wrong with the I'm drinking part of it. But there's yeah, a lot of drinking you're going to have to do Where to spend all that time this? you're going to spend you gaming. You the burn stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. Drinking and burning stuff. But That's a good combination. But, well to what, what, what Ben was saying is, I understand if you have uh, the funds for a high-quality uh, PC laptop or, no, you know, I'm not or talking desktop... About, I'm not, you know, I understand, but... But you could get a garbage one. And you know, yeah, and I, I'm off. not running the greatest in... Yeah, like, I, know, I, don't, still... I don't see the point in buying another system right now. Do you, of, do you... Like Rob was saying, if I lose my job, I what, I'm going to now sell my PS5 or Xbox, whatever the fuck they're calling it? <laughs> or I spent money on my computer, and now I can use my computer for work. You can't use a PS5 to work unless you're streaming. Ben. And to break into that market is fucking impossible. Ben, well, unless you I buy think you a, it's be the very next Xbox. Well, unless you buy a high quality Atom system. Oh wait, no, that's oh. Uh, from the eighties. <laughs> that, that doesn't what? No. <laughs> no, I think Wrong you should generation. name the X the next Xbox though. I think the Xbox, whatever the fuck you want to call it, is a really good name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I come in here as sober as I possibly can. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's the reason. You know, I it, it made barely. some valid points on, yeah, on right. buying another <laughs> console. You know, but um, if you had to purchase one, oh, if I had to purchase one, yeah, sure, yeah. I didn't fucking research the topic. That's why I wasn't in here. Oh. <laughs> well, that's fair. I don't fucking know. <laughs> How has nobody said the next gen Nintendo, which is coming out oh. next year too? You're not, you haven't gone yet. That wasn't in the verse. You just saw that out. You can't keep anything in. I, I didn't, I didn't tell me at the beginning of every I didn't episode. do mine yet. Oh, because yeah, no, but you usually tell me before that's the episode. That's right, I do. Anyway. Rob, that's not in the verses. Oh, you're drinking. I know we were. It was a binary yeah. versus. Oh. Yeah, that definitely was a binary versus. Yeah, but versus. what? Yeah. Has that ever stopped you? <laughs> All right, no, so I'm um, stopping it today. Any <laughs> member of this crew... Oh, uh, uh, wait, anybody not, Anybody in this crew has the binariness of one of our questions ever stopped you? Travis? Uh, no, because we're all on the side of the Travis? Yeah. So what are you going to get? I, I mean, Maybe. like, I, I never, I'm not usually a person to buy first-gen hardware. I mean, I am, as it since the information I have now, I'm excited about Xboxes and offerings, but... Uh, again, for people, the reasons already stated, like it's not smart to adopt first gen hardware. We have perfectly capable gaming PCs, but uh, I agree with Mike and Lou. I really so, like that we asked so, you so, twice. So, he gave us two different so is it answers. Round two for everyone. Is it round two no, for no, no, no. I just I want to uh, one. We're gonna go back. Uh, we got we got to do we got to do Tyler. <laughs> oh, you all have to do. It. Oh, we do. <laughs> we do. This right. episode of Guys, Games, and Beer is brought to you by Bullet and Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! No, man, I wish I had some of that right now. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's good. Tyler, what are you... Sex or bullet bourbon? Which one? Ta oh, <laughs> all right, Tyler, how about you? So, a lot of people brought up the same points that I feel I'll end up bringing up here. Um, a lot of it has to do with... My answer is going to be the Xbox. Um, Hardware-wise... Uh, Josh said it best, like, at this point in the consoles and stuff, it really doesn't matter that much. The only one that's doing anything different and mixing things up is Nintendo. I mean, that that's just the way it is. Um, I still will game on my PC like I do, but the main draw for me with the Xbox, it couldn't matter, wouldn't matter what the specs is, the people that I play with a lot online are on Xbox. 
That's the reason. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and Josh was right on that. You really do have to kind of look and see what your friends are doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. And the thing, too, is um, I've actually been doing the Game Pass as well on Xbox, and I've been enjoying that a lot. I think it's like for the bundle with Xbox Gold and Game Pass, it's like 15 bucks. It's not bad. And I get a mixture of games. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. One second, games. one second. One second. Whatever you're doing to that cat, Tyler, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's like that. The uh, subscription service is actually really nice. I agree. Yeah, Yeah, no, she's real annoying right now. (laughs) No, continue. I'm sorry. I expect to hear Clark. Damn it, Kenny! (laughs) (laughs) I'm so sorry, Tyler. Go ahead. (laughs) Um. So that's the big draw for me is the, that. And with the purchase of Max, now that's going to add a lot of exclusive titles and things like that. Like, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. Because with just this generation, uh, the current one, they really did kind of feel like were very lackluster with a lot of their exclusives that they had. Yeah. So. All right. I mean, uh-huh. yeah. Well, yeah. We kind of got that vibe during their conference when they first released it. And gave them the details. It's kind of lackluster, just like the console itself. Oh, ouch! One thing I wanted to bring up is that last generation Xbox really did do a lot of focusing on making a home station, like for streaming, everything like that, and they did do a good job of that. If that's what you're into, which is fine. One thing I do want to point out that even though I grew up as more of a PlayStation guy, and I made Twitch over. Um, one thing I really do like. That's how your the PC Xbox. really failed you there. We didn't hear anything you said. No, no, no that's fine. <laughs> he was fine. He was fine. One thing I just want to point out, uh, I, especially since the PlayStation 3 and onward, one thing I re- that really drives me crazy is the PlayStation's interface. I loathe it with a fucking passion. Really? Really? Oh, Xbox is. I know, I go on. I can never find my apps on the Xbox. I know, I go on to the Vita and it's like heaven next to the Xbox. I don't have Netflix. Who is everything? Why is it gone? I don't have a. I think I was going to search for it. Yeah, I think I agree with you on that. So, for my experience is is access. As long as you're using your your pins and stuff, it's just boom, right there. We literally have to set up so everything's set up with like I hit one button and I can you get only use eight apps yeah but yeah I don't like the, yeah, like yeah, I don't like the interface either find your good find your uh, gold shit ever try to find your well, I can find all gold. my gold shit all right all right your games yeah. of gold ones on it Dallas how about you what are you oh, looking I'm at sorry I'm losing it um, you just got a mind so, for it. Hmm. okay so this is I, I'm kind of on the fence on everything. I kind of share all opinions at this point. I'm very conflicted. I'm just very confused. I don't know. Um, and very zen. Yeah, I'm very sad. I don't know. I'm I'm very oh, sad. That's it. Very angry and very aroused all the same time. <laughs> because this is I I see I see everybody's viewpoints. I sit on the fence with Ben over there because yeah I've been PC Master Race for quite a while. I was really bitter about the fact that as I was younger, you know, I was all able to go up to PS2 and, you know, by that point I moved out and I was on my own. I'm like, well, I don't have the budget for all these new consoles that keep coming out and these expensive games. However, you know, I've always had a gaming laptop with me and that was always the case. And, you know, and you know what, it's, it's the same thing then and, you know, it's the same thing now. I, I invested in almost $1,500 in a new, you know, gaming PC and, and this is going to be my break and it's, it's, that's it. I'm not... I don't have the you know budget for all this new tech. However, I find it very interesting looking at these new. You know, at first I found it very interesting looking at these two new consoles coming out, or at least two new series of consoles. The fact that it struck me that gaming is a lot cheaper than it has been, whether we want to acknowledge or not. We can bitch about DLC and monetization and loot boxes all day. However, at the end of the day, I look at the inflation of prices compared to what my folksies pay for. You know, Genesis and Nintendo shit like that for me. And this is going to be like one of the you know the cheapest ways of game for a lot of console gamers. And I have to I have to take in I have to accept the fact I can't be elitist. I have to accept that consoles are just consoles, and that's just how it is. They're entertainment systems. They're exploring various avenues of entertainment they never had before, but it'll never be beyond that. I'll stick my PC and you know have a utility and be able to work on it as well as game with my existing library. However, 
they are offering, they are being more gamer friendly in terms of are you an elitist and want the best console or are you on a budget? So they have two options for each line. You know, like something cheaper where it's slimmed down, you know, less memory, no optical, you know, and, you know, less, you know, you know, display. However, you know, you if you pay more, you get the other version. That's cool. Um, the launch title's great. You know, it's like, well, hell, you know, I actually, I'll get a grab a screenshot here of the specs. Um, as everybody has also mentioned, you know, they're very, very comparable. I can just, uh, I've got the chart right up here. I'll just take a quick screenshot of it and drop that in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to mention, yeah, so they're very comparable stats. They both oh. look like Meth has designed them. You know, I'm sorry to say, that's what everybody else has said. Right, they don't look uh, the same. They look exactly like the weird fabricated um, mock-ups of the Xbox 360 and PS3 that people used to put on the internet back in the day. Like, weird. Weird. And it's like, yeah, I never expect these consoles to look like that. Like, they just don't look practical whatsoever. However, you know, they both seem very strong at first their launch titles for the Neither place, you know, took right, you, my aesthetics of my living room bit. into account. Evidently not. <laughs> you're going to get a remake of 2009's Demon Souls, the precursor to Dark Souls in a Fortnite. And then for the series, Xbox Series consoles, you're going to get launch titles like Gears Tactics and Fortnite. So, <laughs> and, 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 and that one. Oh, no, no, Everything has Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite. Like, can't be a latest. has Fortnite. <laughs> You can add in, I said, you can't believe these dolls. Just, like, give it up. This isn't just another release. Yeah, yeah, you got PC. Don't be, you know, I'll have to, you know, be bitter about it. And it's like, however, <laughs> that was, I'm like, okay, well, yeah, Sony put off a strong release and said what they're going to do. I'm like, you know, it's okay. You know, they're, just, they're out to make money. It's just how it is. It is what it is. However, Monday, when Sony took an arrow to the knee, um, <laughs> and I, you know, I'm like... I, 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 yeah, that's why I just shared a meme, like, support group. Usually I share the meme on a stupid bullshit. I'm like, like, everybody has to see this. This is important. <laughs> I'm like, this is, this is very aggressive of Xbox, because Xbox is all right the past, you know, a couple releases. However, it's like, now they're out for blood, and I see what they're going to do. It's like, they're, they've thrown the revolver on, on the table, and they're looking Sony square in the eye. I, I looked, saw some, uh, another article news, you know, that day on Reddit, and, you know, I saw a bunch of comments saying, oh, my God, it's over, it's over, we'll never be able to play these games again. Then I realized it was the PlayStation subreddit. There's only so-called <laughs> dummy fanboys in the multi -town. I could not give a shit at this point. I used to be, you know, dummy fanboy when I was a young boy, and then, you know, I became PC so Master. Now I don't give a shit. That was. In my face, because it's all consumerism anyway. You know, I'm that cynical about it, you know, at that point. However, now at this point, it's like they're literally melting down. I'm like... No, that's not the case. That's stupid. I see what they're doing. It's like, they're going to have it on every platform. You're going to be able to play it. However, it's like, you know, everybody else has mentioned this point. It's time releases. And, you know, if, if somebody had a Game Pass, yeah, they'll be able to play it, you know, right then and there. However, you know, your PlayStation, not the fucking end of the world. You'll be able to play it next year for $60. <laughs> no, and, and, and start, yeah, so that's beyond, and the quality control that's going to flow in, I hope so, from Microsoft, is going to put into Bethesda's practices and Zenimax on the shit. No more using a broken engine, no more, you know, stalling and dragging their ass into developing games and not having regular schedules. No more lying to consumers. No more Todd Howard dragging his dirty penis out of stage every goddamn year and asking that talking about how great we are and look what we're gonna do and people want to believe it. All right, it all just right. worked. So I gotta, I gotta think. think. I gotta it's gonna point where it's like I hope this is gonna like force Todd Howard <laughs> next year at E3. I if we're still alive, I want to see Todd Howard walk out stage with an X rounded on his forehead and a collar around his neck. <laughs> and I'm like saying, hey, did you miss me? And nobody's going to cheer him this time. They're going to cheer for Microsoft. They're going to cheer for him. And it's like, yeah, he needs to know his place at this point. Especially after what happened with Fallout 76 and everything else. <laughs> this new so, uh... <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I lamented, lamented the fact that we would never see another Obsidian uh, developed uh, Fallout title again. Now Obsidian? they're all under one house. This will happen. I doubt there's going to be a Vegas 2. I mean, that's silly. You know, they're like, <laughs> don't say that. You know, however, there, I, if, hey, there, George. I know there's going to be, yeah, there's the possibility now of having another Obsidian developed 
fogging. Hello, goddamn fucking Linda. <laughs> the one thing I need is I need all goddamn year. Okay, as, as all the more shit's been happening, after all the meltdown of the Armageddon that's going on, this is the one good piece of news. It's chaotic as fuck. I never expected this. We need this. Don't people don't understand? I had a hard boycott of Bethesda franchises for quite a while, Zimax in general. I, I And it hurts me because I enjoy those titles. However, we're going to like, the point where it's like, no, it's okay. Microsoft, as scummy as they can be, as you know, scary as they can be, like they're gonna handle it, and they're gonna be like, you know, you either like put some quality in these projects, or you lose your goddamn jobs, because that's how the real world works. <laughs> yeah, like no they did with Halo. Oh wait, no oh, more, oh, yes, because no oh, more of this. Like we have to fix the games, because that's why these games are so iconic, and memorable. Is we had access to them, we had to fix them and patch them up. Hallelujah! You know, there's gonna be a time where it's like, you know what, you, you lose brothers? your job if you don't actually fix your fucking game and patch it up. And make it playable upon release, and that's that's the that's the full hard facts. And it's like, other than that, other than that, you know, it's like, <laughs> other than that, all right. All right. right. It's very so I want to think. The Xbox. The fact that you can play on your Android phone. That's very interesting. However, <laughs> that piece of news. That's <laughs> right. Oh, so, so I want to thank our newest cast member, yeah. Dallas Red Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Now you said Excellent you were talking work. about like building a PC too. So which one? Also, you like with this too, people people who haven't ever built their PC, it feels so fucking good when you finally finish building that PC. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's why I'm sticking with PC. Unless, I, unless I you were doing IT, you're doing it all day. If I saw it, I could yes. never do it right away because everybody who gets it right away are game pigs anyway, and they always break down that problem. So it's not until the Later releases where shit's stable. Oh, All right, yeah. so, so is that, okay. Yeah. Know, just give me a new more. segment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, again, what yeah, grinds I'm Dallas's so gears? I'm not in this console, but holy shit, I kind of see who's going to get it, and you know what, how it's going to affect gaming for everybody, not just people. Like, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's recap. So it's kind of a split. I can't. It's a kind of a split decision that before I, before Rob wraps this up and, and says which one he's going for. Right. I, I thought you were going to say what you were going to say. Your words. Yeah. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> you kidding? After you this, after this <laughs> shit show, after this shit show, you think I'm weighing in? I was going to hold the chance. So uh, let's get let's. It's been kind of a split a split decision tonight. I would say, you know, it's been a few PC master race. A few extra. No, 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 no. This wasn't even on the table. We're on a real PC race here. Come on. You were going to ask. I was a console person all the way, but you people, you pushed me into the PC world. Yeah, but I mean, you were like. Shut up. You love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's when. Now we all have. Well, it doesn't matter which one. So, uh, we just Rob. Wait for 30 minutes uh, I guess it's, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a pretty even bag tonight of systems. How about you, Rob? What do you think you're getting? I, I, I'm. To be honest, I'm. Gonna I know what on. I know what you're gonna get, but go well, ahead and say it anyways. I'm gonna hold on to my Xbox One uh, until they pry it from my adult, my cold dead fingers. All right. I don't know where the next generation is going. I mean, one of the big problems is really all I play on my console is Call of Duty with with friends and family. That's all I do. I don't have any other interest in the console because. I have a gaming I'm PC. Sure. I don't want it to sound that way, but it is what it is. I get the games for half the price, and they perform better on my PC. You know, I yeah. hate to say it. I mean, that's bad truth, yeah. You know, I mean, don't want to sound elitist myself, but that's, I mean, we call and, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's just, that's just the fact right. of it. And you can say, yeah, but I can buy a gaming machine for 500 bucks, but you're still going to need to own a PC if you want to F and do anything in your life. Like, have a job. It does, it You're going to need it, so you it might as well spend the extra 500 bucks and get yourself a halfway decent gaming PC. I guess that's my opinion, yeah. but... Uh, and that's, know, that's the thing I had to concede with you know myself. You know what? You should keep your back your personal life and your professional <laughs> life separate. They shouldn't even be the same computer anyways. They, no, never do that on the same I computer. I would never, no, ever, yeah. ever stuff surf I've seen. all that porn the, yeah, exactly. on my work Thank PC. You. There the is stuff, no way. The stuff I've seen on people's PCs. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. That ain't happening. Why you got to have a separate why PC. Why would you do that at the office? For the love of fucking God, people. I really don't want to clean your crap off your computer, and I really don't want to see what you've been looking at. You literally can buy a PC these yeah, days for 150 bucks. Don't by the way. do it at the office. PS5's uh, got a 4K, 4K Blu-ray. Uh, but now, no, but that was brought up earlier in the discussion. 
is, is that really going to be a thing? I don't know, I... Really what do you mean, 4K? Yeah, with streaming, rant, with streaming uh, do you really want... Oh, are you yeah, going to need I, a 4K Blu-ray player? It's, are they going to go the way of, the D, of, a, of a regular DVD? Or the 3D? Yeah, mm. yeah, thank you. Oh. I just bought a bunch, just by the way. Out there, I mean, I'm still... I, I, I still buy them. Yeah. I still have almost That's the only thing I buy now. 400 uh But I mean, I guess if you want to... No, if you want to rent a 4K Blu-ray, that's... Uh, yeah, well, you know, again... That's cool, I mean... And they're like a dollar oh, versus streaming at five. Though. Okay, all right. One thing, one thing I did want to mention is one thing about the compatibility compared to like PS4, like PS5. You'll be able to play PS4 games, but not really mention the, the older generations. P Xbox, you'll be able to play older Xbox titles up, you know, down to the original Xbox. Grand, you, you're not guaranteed to have all the Okay, that is pretty version. cool. If you play Xbox cool. One titles, they're going to be the, the Xbox One X versions instead of the regular Xbox One versions, as confusing as it is. However, they are going to offer four words compatibility. We all know that Cyberpunk 2077 is going to come Mac out for the console. However, they are going to offer the option to, once you get a new uh, Xbox, you can upgrade to the new Xbox version of Cyberpunk. And they will offer that development kit for all developers. They don't prompt to everybody because not every developer is going to guarantee. However, it, there's... The, what shows me is it's going to show <laughs> which developers really care about their product and their and their uh, and the gamers, and which ones are just out for money to capitalize on the console release. You know, well, that's so that, that's going to be very interesting. You know, to see what's going to happen. Yeah, one thing because there's a lot of hate on consoles from us PC fans here. One thing I want to talk about consoles that is really nice is game sharing. I know Steam yeah. does some extent of that as well. Oh, Steam does great really game nice. sharing. Yeah. yeah, but it also again it's another price point entry like. It would be cheaper to have two consoles mm -hmm. than two like gaming PCs, and for some people that is the option. Currently, yeah. we do that occasionally with the two Xboxes we have because we didn't sell or get rid of the first generation Xbox we have, and then we bought the Xbox X. So me and my wife are now able to play games together sometimes, and it's wonderful. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But, the, but depending on the game, I mean, they're half the cost on the PC anyway. They're going to go on sale for half price. Everything is because it's all on Steam. Well, my point was mostly because after we upgraded the Xbox X, we still had the other yeah. one, so like, whoop, keep it, and we had all the games anyway. I mean, we have two Xbox. Yeah. We still we do have two Xbox Ones in the house. I mean, we're that's how we play. We yeah. sit there next yeah. to each other. And that's just the whole we're reality. Yeah, as much of a PC elitist as I want to be, I'm like, you know, I have to realize, you know, as even as an IT person from that perspective, I have to wrap around my mind around the fact that not everybody can afford to be or not everybody wants a computer. You know, because I talk to a lot of people every day in my job who are. You know, they they have you know their work computers. However, they don't have personal computers. They have their phones, yep. and maybe that's it. Their kids yep. have game consoles. And George I is on there. As a, parent, I, as a parent, I'm very reluctant to give a small child a computer. You know, if they want to play games, I'll just give them. A, I give them a game console, and that's kind of the point. I see the lower price point compared to really nice computers like I have. You know, and that's just going to be the the fact. That's going to be that demographic and those consumers, that's what they're going to target. You can buy that little dumb kid a $150 PC and let him play Polar Bowler. Yeah. All, All day. damn day long. You know it. God, I love that you game. buy him a Raspberry Pi? Yeah, buy him yeah. a Raspberry Pi. Buy, buy a Pi. Is that PC gaming? I, I do think, I, I do think, <laughs> although I think this pro, this next generation will do well just because of the uh, the plague that we're in. Yeah, people need to do. I'm starting to see kind of a death knoll for it, to be honest. It, yeah. It, there's just not. Uh, if you get a five hundred dollar PC, you can do a lot of gaming on it. Oh hell yeah! Mm -hmm. You can do a lot mm -hmm. of gaming with your friends, and unfortunately, yeah, this I crossplay. Can do a lot of gaming on a, that's on a bad, yeah, that's a good, yeah, that's common sense. Robert, you know, for for a lot of us, however, for consumers who are not computer friendly, as hard as it is wrap me wrap my mind around that fact, is that a lot of people are not able to to work computers, and they understand they don't know how to maintain them compared to console. You don't have to worry about all this, you know, all this shit, you know, and, and like security breaches and, and, and virus shit like the consoles as much as it would be, you know, with PCs. And that's that's sad to say. Well, I mean, your your Xbox, yeah. your Xbox yeah, account somebody, is the same as your PC account. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's your high way account, yeah. something a PC uh, that's more, I don't know, more you know, and, and, and you know what used to be the strength of consoles in general is it used to be it just worked. Yeah, yeah, and that's, the, that's, that's what some consumers too. expect. I want it to right. work. That's, yeah. that's the sad thing. Maybe think, not on release, you know, but, you know, geez, you know, when the consoles are stable and when they're, you know, selling well enough, 
something that you, you know, fire or get. I understand at least that aspect for some people. Me, I like to tinker around. I like to fuck around. That's why I got a computer. You know, it's for development and shit like that. But for the, the average consumer, there's some out there who are, they will never understand computers, but they'll understand a game console, at least to that extent, for what they want to do, whether it's whether it's so watching you Netflix it's computers, you can or even for the game console. kids playing the Yeah, games. that's more the case, yeah. yeah. All right, let's yeah, Rob, we should, we should wrap this mess up. Yeah, I mean... Uh, let's I guess get the hell out of here. See ya. I, Bye. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I guess my point is, without the walled garden that consoles used to have, I, they don't the PC is going to road on their market. Because the fact is, when you're playing like a first-person shooter, like those have been like bread and butter. I mean, those have been a big deal to a lot of yeah. console gamers. If you're constantly losing to PC players because they have superior hardware, and I, by yeah. superior hardware I mean a keyboard, keyboard and a mouse, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna have a really hard time. I mean, I can mount like, like on, on my uh, on my rig, yeah, I have a thing that like I can turn on, if, like. It can tell you where sounds coming from on the screen. It has an indicator to say whether this right. coming from the right or the left. That's not considered cheating for whatever reason on the PC. I have that built into mine, and that is a huge advantage over somebody who's on a console using 1872 quality headsets. I'm sorry, even the best headset, it just doesn't yeah, you match can't, that you can't shit. Always tell. Yeah, and you cannot you mount that stuff on a console without getting yourself banned. Yourself too. Yeah, there's just, I, I, I see that as kind of a death knell. You, you add that to much, the, the technology is getting cheaper on PCs. You can get a fairly decent PC now for like $800 probably. That's going to run most games. You're going to be able to run a wider variety of games for cheaper. Plus you can do like your spreadsheet and browse the web with it. It's going to be very hard for consoles moving up. I think Nintendo that. skirted that I by having a lot of... You're selling an yeah. Atom computer. Yes, I am selling an Atom computer. And check out my time travel no, program, but, and if you get that commercial, you are awesome. But, but uh, your, your point is right. And that's... But, you know, and Nintendo did. Nintendo was able to succeed this, and, hit, and their president knew. They walled off Mario to their platform, and mm -hmm. people want to... Play it because of that. They've been creative and been giving they experiences you can have, right? Sort of, yeah. Why would I play a game? The only thing keeping me on a console is family and, and friends that play on it. If that wall's gone, there's really no reason for me to play on it anymore. But anyway, oh well. Plus, they're, I, I don't know. I, I Xbox turned me off this last generation, you know, really pretty badly with their netcode. Yeah. It really is. I, I really get very annoyed. Like, how many PCs can I have on this wireless network and never have a problem? But if I put two Xboxes on my network, they're freaking constantly having problems connecting to the network. Really, guys? You didn't think that would happen? Anyway, all right. I'm, I'm going to lose my crap. All right. I'm going to just let it go at that. Um, I would probably, if, if forced, I would go with the PlayStation. Um, historically, I've preferred Xbox, but this last one really has kind of turned me off. I've been really kind of not happy with it. Other than the controller, I like the controller. You know who doesn't lose their crap? Uh, fine racers! And Lionheart Racing. racing. You, got, no, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta have a call ahead for that stuff, man. That's, that's tough racing. True. And you know, it's a lot easier to race well when you're not eating yeah, rubber hot dogs. Point well taken. And that's what you get at, <laughs> at the non-virtual plus COVID. I mean, just say it. So, so what is you what does Light Heart Racing business? offer you? Line no COVID. Racing. Yay. No rubber hot dogs. And a great announcer. And great yeah. announcement. I, I, I love their announcer. I really do. I'm sorry. I, I, Plus, you do not have to use a public urinal, which oh, I got to tell you. Christ. If okay. you ever have people that just trust, it's that terrible. Just, yeah. that's Quality just organizational everything. structure. That True just story. trumped everything, dude. I've been a few raceways where it's like, Oh, have trot. you ever done the trot? Oh, yeah. The racing yeah, trot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoulder to yeah. shoulder, baby. Oh, yeah. Damn Not straight. right. <laughs> oh, my it's God. It's racing. Just a ring gun. So you want to check out a race or two? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Well, this is classic G2B. <laughs> All right. That was to spend some time at some race. Trips. We've had multiple rants. <laughs> Complaining about peeing and trust. We got it all going. We got it covered. We got it covered. All right, so uh, 
www.guyschemesofbeer.net. Look on the top right hand corner of the screen. You'll see Lionheart Racing. You can click right through. Check out a race. Check it out. You can yeah. do it live. You can watch them. You can watch the old old races, but they're new to you, so you're gonna enjoy yourself. But uh, if you're watching a live race, you can chat with other people watching the race, and which that's is really cool. fun. Really fun. Watch things going on as they happen. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, you can get free games. Oh Jesus! Did I ever tell you about Twitter? There's this thing called Twitter. <laughs> there is? Yeah, I've never heard of it. Yeah, they have these things called tweets, and guess what happens on those tweets? What happens on those tweets? There's some guys who give away free games. Jeez, I'm At Guys Games Beer is one of those people that give away great free games. It's the. <laughs> we, I love. We must be like at least 15 minutes behind on Facebook. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway uh, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about. Uh, free games. Yeah. At Guys Games Beer on Twitter. Uh, you can check us out on YouTube. We uh, simulcast to that every Tuesday. Uh, 6 to 6.15 p.m. CST, that's Central Standard Time. Uh, that's www.youtube.com dot com dot com slash guys, games, and beer. But wait, there's oh, wait. Facebook. Do you want to, what? Not enough? Not enough guys, games, and beer for you? You need guys, games, and beer all day? Constant updates from our master of memes, Dallas. That's yeah. Us www.facebook.com slash guys games and beer while you're there go visit the guys games and beer support group Ooh, good call which uh is where so many memes happen and sometimes sometimes larry will show you a picture of him washing his hair he likes to record that in lather it up really good slow motion, slow in motion. slow motion it's amazing <laughs> uh, yeah, I, but i'm all warmed up just thinking about it uh, yeah. Another <laughs> Discord. Discord. You want to chat in real time with guys, games, and beer crew on all day we doing are. nothing because we got nothing better to do. Yeah, but then those have real jobs. Yeah, plus talk about IT crap because some of us just <laughs> talk crap all day about our oh, jobs. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple <laughs> of us on here. <coughs> 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 but anyway. Uh, if you go to www.guyskimsandbeer.net, look on the top right-hand corner of the screen. There's a link right through our, right through to our Discord, and you can head right in there. That's an open link. So yeah, so uh, a couple of things coming up. I'll be giving away a few games over the next few days on our different uh, social media stands. Also, keep an eye open. Uh, last Saturday night, we did some uh, Dungeon Dare. We did a card game. Yes. Which you get touched when you do that, don't you? What's that? Do you lose a dare? Yeah. No. No, no, no. It's a card no, game. No, no, no. Oh. Two person. Oh. So, you know, it is intimate. But. <laughs> <laughs> but we recorded, uh, we recorded our, our uh, trial runs because we, we played a couple of them. Yeah. Um, played out pretty nice. We should be putting that together and releasing that. Yeah, you should see that over the next yeah. few days. Uh, we will do a review and a uh, demo of the game called Dungeon Dare. It's uh, by Don. Uh, sure. Scurlock, one of our friends, um, friend of the show. You can find a link to his stuff, I think, up in this corner on our... Um, hmm? Or that corner. Could be that corner, too. I don't Wait. Know. On our... On our uh, I have no idea On the guysgamesbeer.net page. I think it's in this corner. Wait, right. no, you got to flip it. Long side. Wait. Whatever. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, yeah long it's side. In the there. corner. It's in the no, corner. Baby in the corner. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, well, you'll see. You'll see. It's uh, it's it's uh, an interesting game. It is a, I can't, I get yeah. it. He's the he's the guy that that features art exclusively from the shapes that are in Word, <laughs> which are, is fucking amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so all the art are, are, are shape are, are Microsoft Word shapes. Word art? Word art. Okay, so That's the way to go. Rob, take us out of this mess. Oh, Lord. Well, you have made it through another episode of Guys, Games, and Beer. Give yourself a... Mm, gold star? Yeah, I think a gold star. Gold I think star. you've earned a gold star. Gold star? Everybody? Yes. Give gold yourself a gold star. Uh, don't forget, of course, we're always posting games, as we did during this episode, in uh, Discord, so check that out. As I mentioned, www.guyskinsbeer.net, top right-hand corner of the screen. And uh, have yourselves a, a great week. I really hope you uh, Survive enjoyed it. this episode. Later, all! It was content. Yeah, it's, cool. it's my, 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 my.
And Amon. unfortunately, I'm on completely the wrong screen to actually exit <laughs> us, so we'll be here for a while. Oh, there we right. go! Yay! There my we balls go. itch. <laughs> my balls always itch. Oh my. <laughs> Need to see a doctor about that. Are right, we out or not really out? <laughs> We're not really out yet. No, people are just going to talk about our balls. That's been a while since I got a little last say in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dallas, you feeling okay after that one? Uh <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, yeah, you really feel like I'm you were busting a nut. Yeah, you, I, I can see the veins popping in your forehead, dude. Yeah, I think you were going to lose your shit, dude. <laughs> uh, good episode. I it like was. when you're passionate, yeah. Dallas. Yeah. Oh, Rob, you talked about the Xbox controller and how you liked it. Yeah. Like, the design of it is good, but the build quality is shit. I like the new ones, the first generation. That's why you have to buy the $180 Elite one. Duh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> no, that one feels <laughs> apart. I have one of those. They, they come apart. Oh, well, they, they didn't get the Elite 2 one. They could have premium. Yeah, there we go. That's the, that's the point. Like They had a lot of work to do to get the controller. Yeah, they were very... That's the one thing I love about this generation of PlayStation. The controller is fucking oh, solid. It is fucking. It's a goddamn brick. It's been well built <laughs> since the beginning. I'm absolutely. I absolutely agree with you on that. I I do like the Xbox layout a little bit better, but yes, oh, the PlayStation controller the actually worked. Better. Yeah. However, for a controller that actually works and doesn't make a creaky noise when you're playing it. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. The, the new Xbox One controllers, though, they don't creak. I mean, I've got like four of them. Oh, yeah, they're all playing, playing if it doesn't make a creaking noise. <laughs> you know, like, How do you know? Like, and it's been great. How would you know, right? 